Hey there, everybody. Steve at Chief Skills. And I saw this on Chief Talk today about designing an A-frame using Chief. And so I thought I'd do a quick video and show you how it's done. It's fairly simple. So let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look and see how easy this is to build a simple two-story A-frame. So I'm going to switch here to my working plan view and grab an exterior wall here, just any wall, it doesn't really matter. And I'll just snap right here and, and make it about 20, I don't know, let's make it 26 feet wide. It, I, I don't care about the length really. This is just a little box I use as a guideline. And then, so this is a one story structure. This is a point marker right here. I'm just gonna delete temporary points. That point, represented zero comma zero in my plan, just so you know. So I have auto rebuild roofs on, so you can see I've got a roof and I'm gonna come down here and turn these into gables. Then I'm gonna open the build roof dialog here. And you can see right here, I have auto rebuild roofs turned on. I'm gonna make the pitch like 20, 20, and tw 20 inch rise for every 12 inches. I'm gonna make the eave pitch only 18, I mean eight inches right there. And this is kind of the key for me right here. There's two things. I'm going to lower this. My first floor ceiling height is 109 and an eighth. I'm going to subtract. I'm going to go 109.125 minus 3. So I'm going to go down. one. I'm just going to say minus 106 right here. Okay. And that may have to be adjusted, but we'll look. At, and then I'm going to click here. Ignore second floor. All right. And the rest of it, I'm just going to leave. The structure might change. Um, let's just make these probably what they'd be. They might be 11 and a quarter. They might even be eye joists, but let's just make them 11 and a quarter. Let's make our ridge 11 and a quarter. And I'm going to leave the rest the way it is. Now, on the options here, I'm going to undo box Steve. I'm going to make this square cut. And I'm going to turn my, delete my gutter. And I'm going to leave the rest and I'm just going to say, OK. Now, if we just take a perspective full overview so we can see kind of what we got going here. There's a there's your basic structure. And if I hide the camera facing exterior walls, I have a hotkey for that. So you can see we have an attic here and a first floor. All right. So let us build our second floor. So let's go upstairs and see what we got. So we have two attic walls and they're automatically created by Chief. And I'm going to come down here and open these so I can edit these. And I'm going to undo no room definition and undo no locate and say yes, because it autom those are automatically generated. And then I'm going to take my interior walls and connect these, okay? And make them invisible. And then let's take a look at our perspective full overview. Now we have a two story um, A frame. And if I turn, I have auto framing on. So if I turn my joist on here, let's type in joist up here, turn those all on. You'll see I have a floor in each area and a ceiling. So you might not want a ceiling here. So you can open this even in 3D and go to the structure tab and say uncheck flat ceiling over this room and you'll have a vault ceiling. And that is how easy it is to build a traditional A-frame home. Now, you may have little short walls down here. Um, let's just take a look at what we've got here. If I do a back clip cross section right here, and let's just take a look and see how this looks in section. And there you have it. There's a little bit of plate here, okay? And this can all be adjusted. It looks like my overhang should be a little longer, but um, if I zoom in here, let me get my zoom window here, um, right here, and zoom in. So these plates are automatically created by Chief because I didn't lower it right down to the subfloor, which would have been right here. So you can adjust this and this overhang and what it's doing right here can be adjusted. So 
Uh, I don't want to go into all that right now, but you get the general idea. There really is no overhang. This could come out a little bit more. And, um, you know, I have my second floor is iJoyce and the first floor is iJoyce. So uh, you, if you had traditional framing right here, you would just open your second floor here. You can do it even in 3D. You can just open this right here. And actually, I would suggest you open your defaults and change these things here. Um, so fl second floor. Let's go here and go to floor structure. And it's using my default, which is iJoyce. So if I change this to 11 and a quarter and just change it down here to uh, um, lumber, I'll get traditional framing. And now when we look in section, you'll see just standard framing. So that is how easy it is to create a traditional A-frame. And now the pitch too may change. So uh, if you come down in here, down to the first floor, and you grab your wall tool and you draw some interior walls, say like right here. And let's look at our section. And you see how tall they are right here. So you know, you may need walls like that for whatever, kitchen cabinets or something. So anyway, just a quick primer on how to build a traditional um, uh, A-frame, two-story. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments, and I'd be glad to answer. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.